And approaching its fifth year of celebration, the, the Franklin Independence Day Parade is preparing for its largest attendance yet and is inviting all area veterans to march or ride with them. WBKO reporter Derek Parham went to the parade route today to give us a sneak peek. Traveling from Franklin Simpson High School through the city's downtown square, the annual Independence Day Parade plans to place the region's veterans on the forefront honoring their service and marking all that are interested as parade grand marshals, alongside other esteemed guests. We have all of the veterans in Simpson County, actually in the surrounding area, are our grand marshals, and they are all invited to come and be a part of the parade. It's the reason that we do the parade, but we also have some very special guests. Uncle Sam will be there, Elsa and Anna from Frozen will be there, and um, Mickey and Minnie Mouse will be returning this year. The parade will begin its march at 10 o'clock tomorrow morning, though those that wish to march will need to meet beforehand to register. So they can just come to the central office at the high school, that's where we line up, and if the, any veteran that wants to ride that doesn't already have arrangements to ride, we will, we will find you a ride. We've got plenty of space. Just come to the high school. I wouldn't get up there before nine. They are able to sit inside the cool until the parade starts if they would like to, but inside the central office, they're very generous with the school system to open the doors. Ellis shared that tomorrow's July 4th celebration will not end with just the parade. After the parade, which will probably last about 30 or 45 minutes, then we're going to have some activities down here on the courthouse lawn, and that's all free to the public. We'll have inflatables and food trucks and um, Cobalt Banker will be here on the square giving out flags before the parade, during the lineup, and the food trucks will be here early as well. Reporting in Franklin, Derek Parham, WBKO News.